Check it out, folks. You know what I'm doing? I'm finna bring the fair to your house, right? Listen, if you go to the fair, you know you gotta have fun, okay? And guess what, folks? I'm gonna give you a little bonus. We doing these deep fried. Let's get it. So when making, you know, funnel cake, you guys probably have all of these ingredients inside of your uh, pantry, your cupboard, or wherever you keep your, you know, your ingredients at, right? And don't forget, it's on the website, that's smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, this is what we're going to do, right? I'm already putting heat under this because this is so simple to make, right? We go to the fair, and that's the only time we, you know, make it. I'm going to show you guys making it at the house is easy. I got oil. I'm going to use my wok. You guys can use cast iron, whatever pot or pan that you have that you can get that oil in there and get it up to 350. That's what you're going to do, right? So that's working. Got these ingredients. Let me move this. Okay, so listen, I'm getting back to the basics, folks. And when I say that, listen, when I line out all my ingredients, I got everything measured out. That's what makes it go fast, right? Now, as I need them, I like to group them up. I'll put these three together and this, and then I got salt, right? So I'm gonna add my flour, right? And these ingredients right here, baking soda, cinnamon, all of that, right? Don't forget, I just told you guys, the, web, the complete downloadable and printable recipe is on my website. And then here, I'm just gonna give it a little print. Well, just a little bit more than that. Yeah, that's it. Now, take my whisk, and we just wanna get this, you know, mixed and combined together, right? All right, so now we're gonna take this bowl, and we're gonna put all of our wet. Now again, I'm just emphasizing how I just get everything over here and just group it all together, right? So you guys can see it. Uh, oh yeah, I'll just pour this in here like this. All right, we'll do our eggs. Extract. All right, so I just want to break my yolk, that's all. I mean, I could have put my sugar in, you know what I mean? But once I get it broken, now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my sugar. And don't, you know what, folks? I got a funny way of doing things myself, you know what I mean? Uh, but you can put it all together. There's no, no reason why you don't. Hey, here's a little note for you guys too. Whatever milk you guys have, you can use. You can actually even use almond milk or any of those other milks, you know what I mean? Uh, whole milk, I like the whole milk when I'm cooking. You know, that 2% is what I normally have. I grew up on that 2%. Now, I got all of this, you know, whisked up, and, you know, mixed, nice, all right? Now, we want to get this together because we're making our batter. Now, I want you guys to notice the consistency when I'm done. That's going to be key. Okay, so remember I said this needs to be at 350 degrees, right? So, I use a meat thermometer. You guys can use a candy thermometer, you know what I mean? But let's take a look right now to see where we at. If I'm anywhere near that, okay, 315, come on. 340, 350, 353. Now, if I bring it out here, you guys got, you got, we got to use our brain a little bit. We bring it over here, we at 358, 360. Now, I'm not putting nothing in here cold, right? But my milk was a little bit cool. I know it's gonna drop down a little bit. So I'm gonna make it just a small adjustment, bring it down just a tad bit, cause I wanna stay at about 350. Right, so next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna need to get yourself one of these little squirt bottles. This will make it like super easy, right? So we have that, I got myself a funnel. All right, so after you get your bottle filled, you know what I mean? You wanna do two things. You remember I had the funnel on the top? You wanna make sure that the spout down the bottom is big enough so that everything, cause remember, look, you can see, you know, it's a little bit thick, so you, I had to take a little time. Now, I'm at 350, I just checked again, now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna have this, you know, just bring it down like this. And what we're gonna do is, I want you to pay attention. I'm gonna go around like that. We're gonna get our shape, then we just go in the middle. So it's so easy. You know what I mean? A good fun project to work with, you know, like with your family. You know what I mean? Of course, we're working with hot grease, but you know what I mean? You wanna keep everybody back. Let's keep everybody safe and let's just make these funnel cakes. Now. Okay, so listen, again, I know everybody gonna wanna know what the time is, but I'm gonna tell you, your time is when they look like that right there, folks, then you flip them. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what it look like underneath the bottom. You see that right there? I'll spin this around like that, and that there is Funnel Cake 101. Okay, so you saw that one over there, right? I'm gonna show you one last time. Look, really, now let's focus on this too. You don't want this to be too big. You see that's just cut about that size right there. That's probably like a quarter of an inch, you know, hole in diameter, right? That's good enough. Now, I get it like this. You wanna make sure you got enough in there and you just wanna make sure you squeeze it 
I make I go around a couple of times, then I do the zigzag. You know what I mean? Uh, then you just want to get yourself a pattern, and you want to fill up the middle too. You know what I mean? That's the key part. You can make them as big as you would like, but after that, that's what they should look like. Key thing is, you want to make sure that oil is at 350 degrees, folks. Okay, so anytime I fry, I like to use my thermometer, you know what I mean, just to see where we at. I like to get back to where we at, right? So 354, 358, we good. But don't forget, once I put this in the inside, it's going to cool just a little bit. Real simple, folks. Oreos, same batter, right? I just take them, push them down, right? You just want to get them completely coated. I bet you guys saying right now, I did not know that it was that easy for that deep fried Oreo. Right, so now we take that, we just take it, get it right here, and we just get it off. Just like that, real simple. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, you know what I mean, what else should I deep fry? I know one of the things y'all gonna say is do that, you know, that Twinkie. Okay, so again, when you're doing these, it's really about the color, right? So, if you had 350 degrees, you just wait till you see that nice golden brown color, and then all you do is you just flip them. So once you achieve that color you're looking for, that's a good color right there. You know what I mean? We just flip them over. Ah, oh, yeah. And then you just repeat the process until they're done. Now, before you eat this, it's really traditional to get a little powdered sugar on there, right? So I just put a little bit in here. Look how fine that is. My strainer, right? So I take it just over the top and I just make it look like Christmas. All right, so look, this is just some strawberry syrup. You know what I mean? It's nothing but like a filling type. You know, I make this, but you know what? You guys can take the strawberries, right? Take the strawberries, put some sugar on there, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit up for a couple of hours, and then you'll have this right here. But you see that right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, folks, now you've seen it, right? Now listen, you know, we doing the fair type food, you know what I mean? Uh, you see this right here? This is really, really sweet. If you guys haven't had it before, trust me when I tell you, you know it's like super like on steroids when it comes to sweetness. But listen, we only indulge every now and then, right? And then the funnel cake, I'm finna turn this into a star. I gotta get some pictures. And that's the thumbnail that y'all saw that made you come here and watch this video. So listen, if you're new to my channel, let me tell you what you gotta do. You gotta like this video. You need to subscribe and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, it's photo time. I'm finna get my milk, fill it up with ice, and I'm about to eat. I'm out. Peace.